Good morning. This morning our scripture passage comes from Luke 18 and it is Jesus teaching us a little about how we are to pray. This is verses 9 through 14. He also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and regarded others with contempt. Two people went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee standing by himself was praying thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, thieves, rogues, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give a tenth of all of my income. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even look up to heaven, but was beating his breast and saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his home justified rather than the other. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, but all who humble themselves will be exalted. My previous church, First Baptist Church of Pendleton, has a stained glass window in the sanctuary of this very parable, and it's one of my favorite windows in the parable. You see there in the faceted glass, the Pharisee, he is wearing his purple. Uh, he is made, for the most part, out of the faceted glass. And in some ways, he's kind of in the limelight. You can see him better. But if you look down at the corner, you see uh, the, the, the tax collector. And he is there only in shadow. And actually, he is entirely made out of the mortar between the, the facets of glass. He isn't made out of glass. He's just made out of the mortar. And yet, which one has God's grace showering down upon him? And of course, it is the tax collector. And we see that in that beautiful uh, array, almost of sunshine, coming down on him. When we pray, sometimes we are like the Pharisees. We just want to justify ourselves. That's a particularly uh, common uh, or, or, or temptation for people like me who regularly pray publicly. I want my prayers to sound good. But in fact, our prayers aren't supposed to sound good. They are supposed to be good. They are supposed to be genuine conversations between ourselves and God. One of the nicest compliments, I trust it was sincere, that I ever received was after I did a blessing one time. And uh, the woman, one of the women who was, was there for that blessing said to me, I love your prayer because it sounded like you knew the one that you were talking to. And that's really what Jesus is saying here in this parable. No the God that you're talking to and know that God's not interested in flowery words and God is not going to be impressed with any of our great uh, lofty language and God's not going to let us uh, just use our prayers to justify ourselves but instead we come to God humbly and honestly and sincerely. Anne Lamott wrote a book on prayer some time ago and the title of her book is Help, Thanks, Wow. And she says that those are the three types of prayer. And we ought to pray all of those as much as we can. Help, we all know how to pray that prayer. Thanks, a prayer that I think we ought to work perhaps a little harder to pray sometimes, to look for the things that we are grateful for. And then, wow, wow, God, this world you have made, this life that you have given me, the, the people that are in my life, whatever, just the good taste of ice cream, wow. Help, thanks, Wow. If we do those things, we can be sure that we will, as did the tax collector, go home justified, forgiven, helped, full of gratitude, prepared to be witnesses for God in our world. Of course, we can pray to God because we know God is with us. 